Welcome to That's Cool Wire. In this video, we're going to talk about switches. There's been such a high demand and a lot of questions of can you add a switch to EL Wire? And the answer is yes. These are just some of the switches we have right now. We'll probably change them along the way or add different ones, but basically the concept's going to be the same. Most of them are going to be a two pin um, connector. This one's a, a little a push button one. When you push it, it stays in, it's on, and then that turns it off. The little toggle switch. Um, you just push it one way, it's going to be on, that's going to be off. Again, two pins. And then we have a little mini one that has three pins in the back. And it's just a little slide switch. Before we get started, there's going to be just a few inverters that we have that th these switches will not work with. Any of our inverters that have push buttons. So that has a push button, it's not going to work. Our AA is not going to work with the switch and our nine bolt will not work with these switches. So we're just gonna kinda put these off to the side. They do work though with all inverters that either have no switches. So this blue cube has no switch. This little one has no switch in it. Here's another inverter again that has zero switches on it at all. It just stays on all the time. Um, a real popular white inverter no switches on this thing, so these switches will work great. And it'll even work well with our sound inverter. As long as you keep it on the on position, constant position, these switches will work great in any other inverter we have that has a slide switch. So let's get started. And the first one we're gonna show you is just having one that has a wall transformer. We plugged it in already. And let's just kinda of deal with the wall transformer itself because that's the side you're gonna put the switch on. I want to give you a view of that. It's really, really simple. Here's the end. We didn't do anything else. All we did was we took the positive wire and cut it. So we separated these two wires. You can see that we'll try to separate a little bit more if we wanted to. The wire with the white dashes on it will be the positive power wire, and the one that's all black will be the negative side, just like a car battery. Uh, the red is positive, the black is negative. We like taking the positive side. So all you do is separate the wires, cut the positive wire in half. You're gonna take one side of it and put it on either one of these terminals. It doesn't matter which one. You can solder it on, but we really highly recommend you put some shrink tubing on there or some tape. And then you take the other side and just put it to the other terminal. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab an inverter. Here's one that has a slide switch. So I'm gonna slide it all the way to the full, which means it's on all the time. We'll bring the wire in. I'm gonna plug this in. And now what we're gonna do is flip the switch. And you can see that the EL wire came on. And then it's off. And you can do the same thing if you wanna put it in the blink mode. You just turn it off and you turn it on. And it's really that simple. So you can order the switches online at thatscoolwire.com or you can add it to your order and we'll add a switch for you. In this video, we're gonna show you how to put add a switch to our 12 volt battery pack, which just has four AA batteries on one side, four on the other. It's the same exact concept. There's two wires coming off of the, um, the, the 12 volt battery pack. You pick just one of the wires. You're going to cut it in half. You just have to take a little razor blade or your nails and separate these wires. Cut it. You're going to just take one half to one side of the switch. It does not matter which one when you're dealing with two pins. And then you just take the other side that you cut and put it on the other side. So it's a very simple circuit. Here's the end of the battery pack. Here's the switch. We're gonna bring this inverter in um, with the wire. We're just gonna plug this in. And as you can see that this wire is already lit up. And I'm gonna um, push the switch button. It's off. Put it again, push it down again, it's on, and it's off. That's how simple it is to add a switch. In this video, we did tell you that before that if you get any of our inverters that have the push button switch, these switches will not work. And we just want to show you why they won't work. So what we did on this one is we took the output of the inverter. There's two wires coming out. We just cut one of them. We put one side to one pin, the other to the other. It doesn't matter which. 
And what we're going to do right now is put this in constant mode. So now I'm going to push the switch to turn it off. And now I'm going to turn it back on again. And it does not come back on. What happens is these are pre-programmed. So when you push the button down once, it's sending an output out. When we interrupt that output by closing the switch and opening it, it confuses it and thinks there's a short and it automatically shuts off. So again, you cannot, cannot use any of the switches with any of our push button inverters, but you can with the ones that have no switches at all or they have a slide switch. So again, it's on, we go ahead and turn it off and then the, it just will not turn back on again. So anyway, thanks for watching this video.